What's up YouTube? Marvin Four here with Great American Survival and in today's video I'm going to tell you all about what I carry in my personal flotation device. Now today we went out for the maiden voyage of the Ascent NT and we went fishing with the group and just had a great time. Well one of the things I got asked by several people is what I carried in my personal flotation device and why did I carry it? So I figure if I'm going to tell them I might as well tell you too. I hope you'll stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. <laughs> now, the one thing you're gonna know is when you get ready to start your first kayak fishing trip, you need to make sure that everything you take with you is attached to something, either to you, to the kayak, or to itself. But you don't wanna lose your boat, you don't wanna flip your boat and lose anything. Uh, your rod should have floats on it. They should have leashes on them. Uh, everything, everything is attached to something. Everything clips to something, buckles to something. Uh, when I, once I unhook anything from here, it usually attaches to my chair or one of these little grab handles that are right here. Things like that are very important to your success and your safety as a kayak fisherman. Uh, the, the PFD I use right here, this is by, mine is by Sol, uh, Stolquist and it's been a great life jacket. Uh, it has come in very handy, it's very comfortable. I don't mind having it on uh, all day long. And that's the biggest thing, you want it to be comfortable. Uh, mine has some added padding in the back, which makes it where when I'm sitting in my chairs that my back doesn't get, you know, I don't get uncomfortable. Because once you're uncomfortable, you have a tendency to take your jacket off and then you don't have it on and you know, crap happens. Uh, when you flip in your kayak fishing, you're gonna be worried about all your gear. You don't wanna to have to worry about can you stay afloat or can you try and deal with everything? You know, you wanna deal with your stuff, find all your stuff, get your kayak back upright, start putting everything back in your boat and then make sure, you know, everything's good. That's the whole point. It's all about safety. Uh, just like if you're out on a, on a day with your kids, you wanna make sure that they're, they're safe. If you have your life jacket on, you're not worried about yourself. You can focus on your children. Um, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. Um, so I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna show you the details of this life jacket. Now my life jacket, my personal flotation device is this. This is an, it's an Ascend model sold by Bass Pro, but it's made by uh, Stolquist. And it's an incredible life jacket. It's very comfortable. It's got um, insul uh, flotation foam on here, here, and on the back, which makes it where when you're sitting in a chaired kayak, it's that much more comfortable and that much easier. It doesn't make it where you're that more, you're less likely to want to take it off because it's just a comfortable uh, life jacket. You want to make sure that if you, when you get one, you get one that's comfortable, that fits you and fits the project, uh, what you're going to be doing. Um, from the factory, it comes like this and it has these two little side hard cased uh, fold down shelves. When you unzip them, they fold down. It has a bunch of tie off points for your gear to attach with lanyards. There's one on each side. Um, all the pockets all have these little punch hole drain holes, which makes it where if you flip and you fill up with water, they're going to self drain themselves. It makes it that much easier for you. Uh, as you see, we've got a couple more tie off points uh, here and here, which makes it where just more places to attach gear. Uh, you have these little elastic strap spots here and here which make it easier too these are great as you see this one i attached um, a line cutter i used to have this on one of my rods and uh, honestly i kept cutting my own line uh, i'd backlash go dealing with the line and it would lap, wrap around one of these and boop, off it would go uh, the jacket itself also has this little it's a fishing rod retainer so as you're working in your kayak, you just feed the tip through here and it makes it where your kayak's not gonna, your rod tip's not gonna get caught on something and pull it away from you, causing that hook to possibly go into your hand. That's what we wanna make sure of, nice and safe. This strap right here is what I attach my phone to. Now I have a little tethered loop I'll feed through my phone case Works really good, makes it where when I'm on the water, I don't have to worry about flipping my phone. Everybody, I've had people go, well, isn't your phone waterproof? Yeah, but it doesn't float, you know? You drop your phone, it's gonna be waterproof at the bottom of the damn lake. 
I mean, come on. Um, but all it is is quick. It's got the little carabiners attached to it, and then it's just makes it where it's long enough where you can still hold it up, take your photos, and you don't have to worry about where your kayak, where your uh, phone's going to end up if you flip. Um, in this side pocket, I keep a Sea to Summit dry, you know, little micro towel. Just because anybody, if you're out there, you got your camera, you got your phone, you got to make sure you have some way to keep everything clean. Also, makes it where you can clean your hands. I take mine off every so often. It's got a quick little, little snap that attaches it, throw it in the washing machine, put it back in when I go again. It's that simple. Um, I also keep my little Senko wacky rig, um, little, you know, O-ring tool. I keep it attached to a lanyard, loop down through one of these little eyelets, makes it where it's not going anywhere. I also carry one of these uh, hook easy for tying knots. You attach your hook, especially in a kayak. This comes in really handy. It's also got a little line cutter on the back, but you attach your hook in here, especially if you're doing any soft plastics, Carolina rigs, things like that. Attach your hook, tie it off, start doing your tying, and it allows you to twist and spin very easily. I've been very impressed with these little things. They're designed to go on your finger. I just loop mine through one of the little straps down here. It keeps it from going anywhere. So that's one side. And I just zip back so everything stays in the middle. Uh, in the middle, I do have a little S-beaner attached holding my, um, my spatha, which is a little Petzl knife. But you want to make sure your knife has a rope cutter, you know, a little serrated part. Comes in really handy. That's just a little night eyes S beaner. It's plastic, so I don't in stainless steel, so I don't have to worry about it rusting. Uh, next, I have a set of these are by a company called Runkle, and uh, my needle nose pliers that are over on the side and my little fish grips are both attached with little lanyards. Uh, these float, which I was really impressed with the first time I took them out. They floated because uh, I dropped them. I lost them when I flipped. It happens. So. But they make it where when you when I get in the water once I get in my life my boat I'll disconnect this carabiner and I'll attach it to either my chair or my one of my grab handles and it makes it where when I'm catch a fish while I'm getting my camera ready I can attach this fish grip I can drop the fish back in the water let it rest so it's not getting stressed any more than it absolutely has to and uh, it just makes it where while you're getting your stuff ready it's that much easier fish grips are probably one of the key things you can have on your boat I think it's a lifesaver. Um, on this side, it's going to fold down. Like I said, they've got these little hard plastic cases. I've got a pair of forceps over here that's got a little, you know, rubberized thing. Locks onto one of the little tie-offs so it doesn't go anywhere. Another pair of the hookies. Like I said, that's attached to a, uh, a jig just so it doesn't go anywhere. I don't want a loose hook just flopping around in my life jacket. I keep my, my headlamp. Uh, this is a little Streamlight Bandit. It's just a little... I like this one just because it's got a real wide pattern. It's not a spotlight, it's a pattern light. It's real wide, works really, really well. Charges with like a micro USB, really easy. I do have in one of the little zipper pouches a section of paracord down there as you see. And then also this is one thing that, this is kind of what got the conversation started today. Uh, one of the guys asked about, um, about any matches or anything like that. And I said, of course, I keep mine. I keep this one in here. Um, it's got another whistle, which I also have a whistle up close to my neck. And uh, this has some has a compass, but it's also got a little whistle. And then I keep some um, Titan matches in here for in case and some fire starter. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I have actually, you know, just some cotton, just something to get a fire going, a little signal mirror if you need it. I have had probably three times where I've been out on the water and I've had to create a fire, melt a section of plastic and fix a, a crack or a, a tear or, you know, just from hitting a rock or whatever it might be. It happens. You start taking on water, you got to fix the problem. That's the easiest way I found to do it. And with most of these kayaks, you can just heat up something and melt that plastic and repair it, and it'll at least get you home. It'll solve the issue. You won't have any more problems. You can get home safely. Works great. Zip that one shut. And then over here on my little side pouch, I've got a pair of needle nose pliers attached with another lanyard. Uh, like I said, this came in a set for like 20 bucks from Runkle come in really handy you want everything to be attached um, you this is just attached to my jacket with a strip of velcro on a, you know double over loop and then up here is my other whistle and that's just because you got to have a whistle I grew up kayaking in Southern California you have to have a whistle on your on your life jacket to be on the water it's just safe 
when you're in the water, especially in cold water situations, you're not going to be able to yell for help. But blowing that whistle over and over again, someone's going to hear it. They're loud. I mean, here. I mean, as you hear, that is not a mild whistle. That's a loud whistle. It carries a lot of distance. The decibels are high, and it makes it where you're going to be able to signal for help from a distance. That's key. Um, also, one thing, I don't know if you can see it up here. It's not attached to my life jacket, but make sure you've got yourself some type of water water bottle of some sort. I don't care if it's just a 32 ounce Gatorade bottle, but carry 32 to 60, uh, 64 ounces of water. Uh, I don't care if it's a water gallon, a gallon of water jug, and you just strap it in the back. Make sure you got water. Water keeps you hydrated and will help you have one of the best days on the water, no matter what. So as you see, everything that goes on with my personal, my PFD has, it has a, has a dozen jobs. All these jobs all make it where my job on the water and my day on the water is that much easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys, if you're, you're a kayak fisherman, comment down below. Tell me what I missed. If you have something you think I should add to my kit, please feel free to tell me about it. I'd love to hear about it. I'm always you know, on the uh, search for new gear, new gear and new kit. Guys, that's what it's all about. Remember, when you hit the water, this is the first thing you should put on. A day on the water can end in tragedy without one. And guys, that's not what we're out there for. So make sure you go over, you check us out. We're on social media, we're on Facebook and on Instagram. And if you're in the Georgia area, please feel free to shoot me a message. I'd love to get together and hit the water with you guys or hit the trail or anything along those lines, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We couldn't do this without you. Hope you guys have a great week. Remember to get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.